Hey guys, before we start this video, just want to let you know I just put up a new song and music video on my Outlaw channel. Link is in the description box. It's called Quarantine, and it's a it's a music video that I made to put a little bit of smile on people's faces, make a, spread a little bit of laughter rather than virus. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that is up now for you guys to watch. I, I've gotten a lot of good feedback so far. It's up on all digital platforms, and the music video is up on my YouTube channel. Outlaw. Link is in the description box. Just want to let you guys know. Love you. What's cracking, Thrillbillies? Welcome back to the vid, you guys. We got a special one today. I know this whole quarantine coronavirus thing is going around. Well, today we're showing off the perfect virus outbreak truck right here. And I'm gonna show you guys why right now. Check this out, man. This is why it's the perfect virus outbreak truck. You come in here, you sit down. There's a tiny little tab in here that holds something. Look at that, dude. It holds antibacteria freaking hand gel look at that man and then you put it right back inside good to go man that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh hope you like the truck see y'all on the diff side ha <laughs> just playing with you that is pretty cool though right i mean it's actually i don't know what the tits of this whole little section is for there's garbage in here freaking miss outlaw did yeah hold your little purell thing it's pretty <laughs> i don't freaking know no but for real today we are going to be going around the truck because you guys might see a couple little things that are different than the last time you seen it that's because we've been adding a whole bunch of things to this guy and uh, now the build's pretty much done there's just a few little little tiny things that i'm going to be doing uh every once in a while that i got to find or they don't have parts for yet because this is a brand new 2020 if you guys do not know we're going to start on off right by telling you exactly what this is. It might look a little bit different now because we've done a lot of work to it, but this is a 2020 Chevrolet Colorado ZR2 Bison Edition with the Duramax. So it is the diesel version, which makes it 10 times more badass already. Really cool, and that thing is super powerful. Eventually, once they start coming out with some more, you know, delete kits or whatever, maybe I shouldn't be talking about this, but once they start coming out with a little bit more and there are some that are proven, because for this guy, I haven't seen too many. I think I've maybe only seen one or two. Once they come out with that stuff, then uh, I think this thing is, uh, is gonna be pretty sweet and it'll be super freaking fast. And as you can see, there's a bunch of new stuff on this thing. Yeah! <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and go around everything that we've done on this build whatsoever and you know I'm saying it's the per we actually built this thing to be the perfect hunting truck which actually makes it the perfect virus outbreak truck just in case anything crazy goes down you know what I'm saying so we're gonna go ahead and walk around and tell you guys everything that we did with this guy I'm actually super excited and uh, we just got it back from my boys over at the edge 4x4 here in Colorado those guys are awesome they hooked all the electrical up for me and a couple things you'll see there we'll get into that in a minute but Let's go ahead and get right into this thing. So if you guys come on in here, of course, it's got the Duramax 2.8 right there, baby. No aftermarket stuff in here quite yet. Obviously, we'd like to do a new intake and, and stuff like that. And, and obviously, uh, deleting this thing would be super freaking cool and get some of those factory settings out and get it uh, get it to what to, to full engine power because these Duramaxes are awesome, man. And they really do have a lot of power, even though they've got the def fluid and all, all this crazy crap that they put on these diesels nowadays to really restrict the power power once we delete this thing in the future which will really make this thing the ultimate uh truck will um it, it'll be a lot better the only thing we did up front that's underneath is this worn nine and a half pound or nine and a half oh yeah it only pulls about nine and a half pounds so so <laughs> i guess it's not the <laughs> nine and a half thousand pound it's a, it's just the nine and a half xps the s stands for synthetic rope this is the winch that we put in here super awesome man i almost said super cool but in-law always makes fun of me in the freaking edit whenever i do so we got the winch hooked up here it's awesome the synthetic rope version I put this to the test already a few times. It's really good. And you might be asking, well, where, where the heck do you put the, the freaking device? The, the lock is right here on the bottom, but you just open that hood up and you can hook your remote up right there. It feeds, the, the cord is long enough to feed inside the truck and it also has wireless, which is really freaking awesome. That's about it for under the truck. Not too much, didn't really need to do this thing. It's a brand new Bison, so there's a, everything, all the money and everything that you have to pay extra for the Bison edition is all underneath in the freaking suspension. Speaking of suspension, you can see this thing's a little bit higher than stock. We went with a BDS. Oh gosh dang it, how many inches did we do? I forgot, dude. I think it was 
think it had something to do with, I think four or four inch lift. Yeah, it was a four inch lift, I'm pretty sure, right, in-law? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, th I think so. Yeah. <laughs> so we went with the BDS four inch lift kit, which has been treating me super awesome so far. It actually is really cool because it retains the stock Chevy Performance spool valve shocks that they put on these guys, which take a look at these things, man. These are freaking so cool. Of course, they're a little dirty. We got a blizzard the other day, man. Look at, I mean, look at Banjo right now. He's stiff in the snow. He's like, what is it even doing here, man? It's spring. But uh, you can see the Multimatic spool valve shocks right there. Those things are super awesome, dude. I freaking love it. As you can see, they come with upgraded lower control arm. It's a little bit bigger. The suspension on this thing is killer, dude. Like, I, I go over bumps going freaking 40 miles an hour, and it, it almost feels like a Baja truck or something, like you're they're driving a pre-runner. It's not to that extent, but it's, it's really close, and I'm really, really happy with the suspension on this guy, which makes starting... You know, we started with a really good truck as it is a brand new one the brand new bison which people have been loving you know it's comparable to the toyota uh, tacoma it's comparable to the the new ford ranger it's comparable to to all the small um the small what do they call them mid-sized trucks i guess so uh this one though it, it's it's killer and it's definitely upgraded from the actual stock um colorado now let's go to our wheels here these are actually not stock wheels but they are made by aev aev if you guys didn't know are the ones who built and designed the bison package for chevrolet aev stands for american expedition vehicles very well respected company in the 4x4 game and these guys actually built this wheel specifically for this truck this is actually their crestone wheel which Maybe Crestone is the one who made it and AEV just put their name on it. I don't actually really know. Let me know in the comments below. I'm sure there's some experts out there that want to tell me to shut up right now and that I'm getting everything wrong. So yeah, we got this wheel. Uh, we upgraded this from the stock, which is now actually on in-laws truck. Um, these have the beadlock protection ring on it. Uh, these wheels are super tough and durable. And then we went with a 35 by 1250, and this is a 17 inch rim, BF Goodrich KO2s, which I've ran, run these on a, on a few trucks before. Really love them. They actually last their, you know, these I think are 60,000 mile warranty. They, they actually last. I had them on my Suburban before and they lasted the whole time. So um, I really do like these wheels and they give it a, a, an aggressive look. And it says Baja Champion. So you know it's gotta be good, right? And, and we got four tires, by the way, uh, just so you guys know. I, I didn't get two. So we got four tires all the way around just to, just to make sure you guys know that because some of you guys might be thinking that I got a new tire for you know every side, but nope, same all around. I know how to do it, boy. I know how to build a truck. Yeah, you dang straight, dude. Another awesome thing that makes this thing super cool. Let's just say this coronavirus takes over the freaking world and we gotta go to the mountains, man. Cause the mountains are the place to go in times like this, right? There's so much acreage and everybody can have their own kind of domain up in the mountains, right? Well, the mountains aren't far. And on the trails, it might be, or we might even have to make our own trail. That's where this truck comes in right here. Rock sliders, 360 degrees around the whole truck. Rock sliders all the way on the side, all the way on the back. Check this out, man. All the way down, all the way down to the front, dude. So rock sliders everywhere, which is freaking killer, man. So if there's a bunch of rocks and you have to make your own trail, you're never gonna really have an issue with that. And then, of course, the very most important, and in-law knows this, the most important thing during an outbreak or something crazy that's going down when you need the bug out vehicle. And everybody likes to say, you know, oh, I got the perfect bug out vehicle. This is one of the best bug out vehicles because of the way it looks. That's right. The way it looks. Guys, when you have a bug out vehicle or a virus outbreak happens and a bunch of people are you know, clamoring and, and everybody's on the road trying to figure out what to do. This thing's gonna stand out and everybody's gonna look at you and say, I'm not messing with that guy because because his looks cool. That's right, this thing looks cool. And to make it look cool, we wrapped the whole thing in matte white. 3M matte white, we wrapped it all the way around, mirrors and everything, handles. And then in the back here, we did a snow camo. Uh, cool snow camo pattern. Of course, we got the Outlaw logo that, on there, which has some guns in it, so people know not to freaking mess. You know what I'm saying? People know not to freaking mess with the old Outlaw, dude. You know what I'm saying, dude? Yeah! Yeah! What are you gonna do, Bob? Yeah! What are you gonna yeah! do, Bob, dude? Actually, to be totally honest, having a cool-looking truck is probably not the best thing in a freaking bug-out situation <laughs> because people might just know, oh, that's the guy to steal from. Since we're back here, let's go ahead and talk about this guy right here. This right here is our bed protection. Not just to protect our bed from getting smashed or anything like that, but for what we have in the rear. Guys, we have a lot of space in here. Right now I've got, what the heck is this, man? Oh, that's my old light bars and stuff, which uh, 
if you guys stay tuned we got some sick old freaking rigid industry light bars we got some rigid industry cube lights that we might be giving away to so stay tuned but we got all our room right now we got snowboards and stuff it's been snowing so i put all this in here we got all of our room back in there there's a toolbox in the back and this thing just opens up super easy like that this is a diamond back cover thank you Two diamond back covers actually for setting us this guy awesome you could fit all of your stuff in here and then on the back it comes with all these tie downs so you can put whatever you need up here and it's strong enough where you could even roll a four-wheeler up here if you wanted to strap a four-wheeler up here make sure you're really careful so you don't break your back windows and you'll be set to go baby bug out bug out with your butt out dude <laughs> Yeah, no one do that. <laughs> but for real, this Diamondback cover is awesome. I love it. it. It gives a really cool look to the truck as well, which is not, let's just make this clear, it's not important in a virus outbreak or when people are going to go crazy, but at least it looks cool for your own personal enjoyment. Hey, you can hide toilet paper in there and no one would know. Dude, you're right. Let's go to Walmart. Come on. While we're back here as well, went ahead and threw some D-rings on here, or clevises, excuse me. Everybody likes to call them different stuff, you know, because they want to get a... Uh, they want to get crazy on me in the comments, I apologize. But we got some uh, ones, they, they're white, they match the truck back here, just in case, you know, you got to pull somebody out or something like that. These actually came stock with the truck, which is awesome, because sometimes, you know, you got to roll it underneath or you got to get an aftermarket bumper uh, for it to have those spots, which is awesome that it already came with a somewhat of an AEV built aftermarket bumper um, with the rock siders and everything built in. Obviously, maybe down the road, we'll, we'll upgrade these just to make them look cooler, but for right now, man, this thing works awesome. And it came with these cutouts right here for extra backup lights, which we threw in some brand new Baja designs with an amber lens, which you can see yellow <laughs> is all around the truck. And we're going to get into why right now. Dude, does this smell like weed out here to you? Dude, have bit. you been smoking? No, bro. What the freaking dick, dude? I think our neighbor's smoking the reefer or yeah. something because it's crazy out here, man. We live in Colorado, by the way. It's a, it's it's legal. But it 100... Do you smell that? I, I smell it. Dude, what is going on, man? I think I'm getting a little contact, you know? It's making it hard to breathe, you know? <laughs> All right, so why we went with amber instead of the usual white. One, I made the mistake in ordering spotlights for the back. These are 100% flood from Baja Design. The reason we went with amber is because in, in situations, especially for me living in Colorado, it's always really foggy or it's snowing or it's raining or something like that. With amber, it makes it super easy to see through the snow, to see through the fog, to see through the dust. The amber, you don't see as high as definition as you do with the white, but seeing through it and seeing what's coming after the fog and after the dust and after the snow, because when you have these super bright white lights on the fronts or on the backs and it's snowing, it, it almost looks like hyperspace, like Star Wars or something, you know? <sighs> so with the amber, it fixes that problem, which is why I went with amber all the way around, especially because I live in Colorado and nine months out of the year, we get snow. As you can see, it's, it's March and we just had a blizzard. Freaking foot of snow yesterday, dude. <sighs> Yellow again. So we have a 40 inch bar on the top, all amber. Baja Designs, a 20 inch right here underneath the bull bar, which is actually aftermarket from AEV as well. And then we removed our factory fog lights and added in some Squadron Pros from Baja Design, which are amber as well. So at this thing at night, man, if you've got a bunch of fog, it was actually really foggy last night. I'll put some pictures up here. You can see right through that stuff. Makes it awesome. Like I said, you don't get that super high definition that you do with whites that I have like on the dually here, as you can see. If you come around the front here, I've got a dual stacked light bar. They're all white. Everything's white. White here. It's all rigid. Cubes, everything white. With this stuff, I could turn it on. I could see really well when there's, you know, no snow or anything like that. But when there's snow and when there's crazy freaking virus in the air. Dude, with these amber lights, with these yellow lights, you can see right through that stuff, man. I am so happy with this stuff. And if you guys have not heard of Baja Design yet, this is the new shit these guys right here man they know what they're doing they're a little freaking pricey but i'm telling you guys right now the best lights on the market right now oh and by the way they got dimmers dim bright dim bright i have to thank 
my boys over at the Edge 4x4. I'm putting all their links and everything in the description box below. If you guys are in the Colorado area and you need anything done in your truck, especially me when I don't like to do electrical myself and I don't like to set this stuff up because I feel like if any water gets in there, I'm kind of screwed. I, I, I'm not that great at electrical. That's why I go to my boys at the Edge 4x4. I'm putting all their stuff in the description box below. I'm telling you guys, check them out. They're freaking awesome. And they actually sent me uh, a little video clip too. While we're on the front here, I just talked about this bull bar. It actually didn't come with this. It came with a whole different kit right here that was actually gray. I actually upgraded to this bull bar kit because you never know, dude. Some guy might be coming to grab your freaking toilet paper and you gotta freaking run him over, you know? Bull bar, dude, right in the deck. Fuck that guy, man. I need my own toilet paper, dude. My butt hurts, man. I've been using freaking toothpaste, dude. Check me out on Outlaw, dude. New, new music video just dropped, quarantine, dog. So the bull bar definitely helps. And if you're on the trail, hunting wise or something like that. You never know when a deer or an elk or a freaking moose or a pterodactyl is gonna come in front of you. This will take care of your grill and not ruin that beautiful son of a dick right there. This actually, this grill actually only comes with the ZR2 package um, or the ZR2 bison package right here. So you gotta protect that little piece of plastic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think actually, Amal, what do you think, man? I think we might need to bedline this. I agree. I think we should bedline it, man. It just feels too fake plasticky right now, you know? Mm -hmm. As well as the wheel wells. Uh, we, or not the wheel, yeah, the wheel wells too, but the fender flares. What do you guys think, man? Should we bedline this whole thing, this whole grill right here, and the, the wheel wells and, and, the, and the fender flares? What do you guys know? Or what do you guys, what do you guys know? How, wait, hey, what do you know, man? <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. Woo! Now, I know you guys have been noticing something different up in here. Roof rack, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, uh, I can't even do a pull up. Oh, can't go to the gym, dude. Freaking gotta work out at home, you know? This right here is a roof rack from Prinsu. I actually seen this roof rack on a uh, fellow Colorado here in Colorado. He had a uh, Prinsu roof rack with the same light bar. I was like, I want that same exact setup. It's a guy that built a really rad, um, uh pre-runner colorado here to spend like freaking six figures on that thing i saw that and i was like i gotta get that thing so this is a prince roof rack um we actually got the upgraded strut mounts underneath so i can put a spare tire up there we could put a lot of weight up there and it will not ruin the roof they spent like uh also a roof rack is one thing that i will not touch as well because that roof rack right there is very heavy that's a fab force and I'm not really impressed with that one as much uh, just because of the way it was installed. It's not anything on the company Fab Force. It's the way it was installed by another company that I do not like. But this company I do like, uh, Pritsu and The Edge uh, Automotive. They, they're the ones that installed this for me. They spent a full day on just the roof, which I was super happy with. They siliconed all the holes. Everything is Loctite. Everything is beautiful, so I'm not going to get that rattling. And that's very important. But we have a lot of space up there because sometimes you might not want to strap anything down because you got a four-wheeler up there in the in the rear or something. You got extra room up here for storage space for your toilet paper, for your masks, whatever you need. While we're here on the side, you can see, guys, when during the virus outbreak, you don't want people to know who's driving this badass truck. You know what I'm saying? You don't want people to know. So we got 20% tint all the way around, and then the windshield is tinted with 35%. Uh, just in case, you know, you know, you got all these nice T-bone steaks or whatever in the, in the, in the back of your truck. Somebody's trying to come and get it from you. you, you they ain't going to see your freaking face. And then you're going to hit them with this bull bar right in the dick. Freaking, now you know. Hey, 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 check this out. Seat covers, baby. Right here we have, and a lot of people always ask me this question, what kind of seat covers do you get? These are Cover King seat covers, and you can get whatever pattern you want. I went with the Mossy Oak Mountain Country. Love these seat covers. They protect everything in here. If you know somebody that doesn't have the coronavirus, they've been tested, you know, and you're like, okay, you can ride with me, dude. You, know, you don't have to sanitize your seats or anything. At least you got seat covers to protect the, the leather underneath, you know what I'm saying? So we went with these. I love this stuff, man. I love it. Now, now, now. Now, now, let's get into the most important part of a truck when you're trying to get away. Maybe we gotta run to the mountains, and maybe we're getting stuck. We got a winch, but what's, what's important about the drivetrain under there? The four wheel drive, the differentials, the axles, ladies and gentlemen. So underneath here, man, I'm pretty proud of it. Not only Banjo, you son of a- So while we're talking under here, dude, this Bison Edition package comes with something that no other Colorado has and that I know of right now, no other mid-sized truck has an option for this as well. Rear and front 
air lockers, which is freaking awesome, which actually, by the way, if you guys remember, and a lot of people gave me crap for that, I can't believe this guy didn't know that you have to have your truck in four low to engage the air lockers. Huh, I wonder why in the video I said, I know you have to be in four low to have the air lockers in, but they're just not locking. Oh wait, I did say that. I, I think people are starting to have hearing problems. I don't, I don't understand what's going on right now. <laughs> but it was weird when I first bought this truck, as I've talked about this before, and there's a lot of freaking haters that say I'm wrong. I don't know why, why would I even like talk about this, but it is an issue that I had, is that when I first bought this truck, I was not able to engage the, the air lockers at all in four low. Um, the front was trying to lock, but you always have to lock the rear first. The rear just wasn't locking the front. I would actually push the button inside and it would say, you got to lock the rear first, but the, the rear wouldn't do anything. It wouldn't do anything at all. In-law and I got stuck up in the mountains in like freaking three feet of snow. Actually, it might've even been more than that. Yeah. And once we actually got out, it was weird. Like once we started messing with the four-wheel drive and stuff, they finally locked in. Now, when I got back down the mountain, actually a couple weeks ago, I tried it again, did not work it as well. And I was like, what in the world is going on with these air lockers? I don't know what's going on. And now just a couple days ago, they've been working perfectly fine. I've been able to get them in every single time. So I don't really know what the issue with them is. I might have to take it down to the GM dealership and see, cause they're still under warranty. I don't want to screw anything up, but that's the only issue I've ever had with this truck is the air lockers not really uh, engaging, but, but now they seem to be working fine. So air lockers front and back, the upgraded gearing obviously to support these bigger tires, which is awesome. They, they come with that. And my favorite part about this bison edition is everything underneath all the drivetrain and everything is skid plated everything is protected it's it's hard to see from the back we might have to get a different angle but everything's skid plated man like everything's protected so if mud or everything it's not going to get on your training it's not going to get on your transfer case it's not going to get on your drive shaft there's yoke protection and all that stuff man it's super awesome so it makes it perfect for a bug out truck. Oh, dude, check this out. I know it's not nighttime, but I'll put some freaking pictures up. Guys, check this out right here. We got rock lights. Yes, and I actually turned them on last night and uh, they're amber rock lights. I actually turned them on last night and I think we need a few more. It obviously lights up the whole thing underneath. So at night, dude, you gotta be a little inconspicuous on the trails because you don't want people hoarding you. And just turn on those soft yellow rock lights to at least see where you're going and it's not gonna put off a huge glow. You know what I'm saying? Pah! Guys, I think that about sums up this truck. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. But one thing I want you guys to remember, I'm not 100% done on this build. Yeah, it's pretty much done. It's good, but I would like I would really like to get some blacked out lens headlights for the, the third brake light and the brake lights as well, just to make it look a lot cooler. But a lot of these companies aren't selling them yet. Uh, they, they only have them for like the 15 and 16 versions. Um, they discon Anzo actually discontinued the ones that they made for these. I don't know why. Shut up, dude. So this thing's not completely done. I just want you guys to know that so you guys don't give me hate. No, dude, dude, don't finish it yet. Don't finish it yet. We will not finish it yet, man. We still got a lot of plans for this thing, especially with the internals of the engine and stuff like that. I just got to do a little bit more research. If you guys know any uh, companies that have come out with like a legit delete for this guy, um, let me know. I still want to I still want to do something to my L5P over here, man. That's got a beast of an engine in it, and I really, really want to do that. I don't really care about the warranty anymore, man. I'm at almost 50,000 miles anyways. Guys, if you need the perfect virus outbreak truck don't come knocking on my door you sons of dicks because i got it right here toilet paper here i freaking come boy my booty freaking loves it dude i've got it all right here in my house what are you gonna do about it i'm just kidding i'm almost out actually kind of funny kind of ironic really <laughs> right i was making fun of it at first like man why is everybody hoarding toilet paper ha <laughs> freaking funny memes right and then i run out and i'm like Shit! hope you guys enjoyed this and guys don't forget in the end slide i'm gonna put it i just came out with a brand new music video called quarantine if you guys could go up on that video and leave me a comment i'm gonna be i'm gonna know who commented on it from this video Dude, who is that man? You guys shouldn't even freaking fly right now. It's not even safe. Oh, holy dick, dude. It's a private plane. I wonder if it's Trump, man. It comes from China. Ah, well, like I was saying, the new music video quarantine just went up and I want you guys to go over there because then I'll know who, who watched this video and commented this. I want you guys to comment on on this video, of course, but also on the Outlaw channel, on the new music video, what did y'all stock up on? Did you stock up on ammo? Did you stock up on toilet paper? Did you stock up on deer meat, dude? Uh, I'll tell you right now, I'm blessed to be a freaking hunter because I've got two giant freezers full of deer meat. So we're going to be all right. Hey, man, everybody stay safe out there. I love you guys. And I'm just trying to provide some entertainment in these times when everybody's just sitting at home and kind of bored. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Make sure to elbow drop the subscribe button. And we'll see you on the dip side. Always remember no matter what you're doing. Live to thrill. Holler. <laughs> oh, dude. 
Did you freaking sterilize the camera? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Quarantine, it's day three of 30. Nothing's clean and there ain't no games on TV. Just stranger things. 